Hey, Rob, Maya Paveza here. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about something happened the other day in my whole own it and confidence. Um, my eight and a half year old daughter has a lisp, the same lisp I had at her age, and it looks like my five year old does as well. She's been doing speech therapy at school for a couple of years, and she's a smart kid, so she knows how to. I guess perform very well in front of her teacher, but doesn't always practice her speech um, outside of the speech therapy room. So she's got a lot of issues with enunciation and opening her mouth and lazy speech and things like that. So the other day, and this is a kid that like perfect attendance record, loves school, always wants to go to school. So I'm gonna say it was Monday morning, I think, that, or maybe it was. No, it was yesterday morning, Tuesday morning. She said, and I'm sorry, it's Wednesday night as I do this. She said, Mommy, I don't feel good. I don't want to go to school. I took her temperature. Eh, no temperature. I was like, what's going on, sweetie? She said, my belly hurts. I was sick yesterday, but I didn't tell you. And I was like, mm, okay. So I kind of got the sense something else was going on. So I said, look, I have work to do. I have to do this. I said, so if you don't go to school, you're not playing the VS, you're not watching TV, you're not playing on the computer, you're going to read, you're going to lay on the couch, you're going to lay in bed, and you are just going to relax, and there will be no video of any kind. Um, so she's like, okay, and I thought, all right, that's it, this, something's going on. So I said, do you want to skip the bus and I'll drive you to school? Yes. Okay. So I sat down and I said, what's really going on, sweetie? It's like, you can tell mommy. She told me that she answered a question in class the day before and that all the kids laughed at her. And I said, why did they laugh at you? And she said, because of my speech. And I said, okay. I said, but you're good at, <laughs> you're aware of your speech problem and you know how not to use your lazy letters and sounds, you know how to enunciate. I said, so what's the problem? And she said, well, they think it's funny when I lisp. And I said, okay, well, that's not really nice, is it? How did it make you feel? She said, it made me feel really sad and embarrassed. And I said, what did your teacher say? Did you say anything to your teacher? She said, no. I said, okay. She said, I don't want to answer questions in class. And I said, okay, Katerina, I said, you're very smart, you're beautiful, you're kind, you're thoughtful, and you're fun. I said, you have a lisp, and it's something that you can overcome if you practice and if you're conscious of it at all times because it has to become a habit. I talked with her about that. I said, look, you know, you have so many things going for you and this one thing that you can easily overcome. I said, so let them laugh because in the end, you will get past this and you will be that much better. I said, they, in the other hand, may not be able to improve their circumstances in the same way that you can. So just be proud, raise your hand, answer the question, speak the best that you can and realize that that is that day and the next day, it's not gonna matter. And if they laughed at you, so what? Just be confident in yourself. And she smiled and she felt good. And I will say I've said a few other things but I won't repeat them on here like, you know, hey. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, mm, can't fix stupid. But anyway, so essentially she felt really good about it. She went to school, she answered questions, and the child is finally paying attention to her speech pattern and actually enacting what she is learning in speech class. So the key here was that in all that I'm trying to do with my daughter to give her confidence in herself and her abilities, that simple act of the kids laughing at her speech impediment just threw her so hard that she didn't want to go back to school. So she was excited by the time we were done talking and ready to tackle the day and went back to school. So, you know, it, she got it. The message was it doesn't matter what they care. It's what you know and you're capable of. Ignore it. Don't let it affect you do the best that you can do, but at least you're raising your hand and answering the question and just believe in yourself and who you are and who you will become. So I guess that's the message. I was really proud of her and hopefully somebody gets something out of that. So do the best you can do. And the things that we can improve, improve them. 
the things that we can't improve, we learn to live with. Have a great day.